Everyone knows Mart's grab is too damn long, and anyone that says otherwise is pro- The amount of times Mart's have gotten away with undeserved grabs is frankly ridiculous. Everyone knows Mart's grab is too damn long. I mean, it's in the first minute of this video by Hugh with over 7 million views. How could you not know? Just look at it. It's crazy. Some might even say it's totally like... Witched, witched, witched. I mean, how else could you explain this? And this? And this? Surely it's some hitbox jank. Perhaps a developer accidentally added a zero to Mart's grab range somewhere. Or maybe Marth's grab is erroneously based around the length of his sword. Or maybe Marth takes advantage of a subtle, obscure suction mechanic that slightly moves opponents toward it. We need to take a look at this hitbox, once and for all. Huh. More modest than one might have thought. In fact, it's completely reasonable lengthwise, especially when comparing it to some other famously long moves. It's so modest, in fact, that when I compared Bowser's grab to Marth's years ago, a few people were in disbelief. And someone even accused me of editing it to look smaller. But I guarantee you, this is it. But if Marth's grab is fine, then how this? And this? And this. The fault lies with the opposing party. Yoshi and Fox with their snouts, Falco with his beak, and everyone else with their own protruding body parts. Keep in mind, too, that Marth smartly leans forward when he grabs, increasing his effective range. It's quick animation making it seem even more ridiculous when he's standing upright afterward. It's also important to realize his fully extended arm is only on screen for one frame, a flash to human vision, making it difficult to notice at all, while also sometimes being obscured by the grabby. Funnily enough, there's something in-game presumably designed to prevent awkward-looking grabs like these from happening, in the form of ungrabbable legs, arms, tails, and fleshy appendages, applied rather arbitrarily across the cast. The sword characters, for instance, have ungrabbable shins and a single ungrabbable forearm, with the exception of Young Link, whose forearms are both ungrabbable. Pikachu has rather useless ungrabbable shins, while Pichu has rather useless ungrabbable arms. Jigglypuff is just a grabbable circle, with even her hair being given the ungrabbable property, while Kirby is, fittingly, completely grabbable. Finally, the tip of Mewtwo's tail is ungrabbable, while everyone else in the cast pretty much just has ungrabbable shins and forearms, other than Game & Watch, who looks like this. These still grabbable upper arms and legs are the reason most extended limbs can still extend far enough to be grabbed in ridiculous ways, which is why clips like this can happen. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Why this property wasn't applied to other things we can only speculate on. But one thing's for sure, if the developers didn't want you to grab Falco by the beak, they definitely could have made it happen. So, the grab was, in a way, perfectly fine after all. Well, at least in the way people said it wasn't. Less of a jank issue and more of just a visually unclear issue, due to Marth's outstretched arm only lasting a single frame. You know what is fucked, though? Marth's dash grab. All this range talk reminds me of a comment I read while I was researching for my last video. On one of the most famous grand final sets of all time, a skeptical man accused one of the greatest players ever of cheating. How is nobody going to bring up what happens at 627? Armada shines him from two characters away. Call me crazy, but that was not legit. And neither is him pulling stitches so often when he's about to lose. Funny how it's only when Armada is about to lose will he just hit you with a shine with twice the hitbox. Or pull that stitch. I'm sure I'll get hate. But I think he used an Arduino, and would only turn it on when he absolutely had to. Never mind the fact that this match took place in January of 2015, 
before dark wizards were putting even simple devices inside top players' controllers. Let's just talk about limbs. As we've seen, if you attempt to hit something and an opponent grabs your extended limb, it can look pretty crazy. Likewise, if you attempt to grab something and an opponent uses a ginormous fucking attack, like Fox's Shine, it can hit your arm attempting to grab. In fact, with some careful positioning, we can make this situation look even goofier than it does in this clip. No Arduino required. Looking at the match itself, the frame before Martha's hit looks like this. But the available VOD has a skipped frame just before the shine connects, as evidenced by the centisecond counter going from 49 to 46, as opposed to 47. This means the actual frame before looked like this. When the visual of Marth being hit is shown, he's really far away. But when Fox's shine hit Marth, the game was checking Marth's hurt boxes based on his continuing grab animation, which at this frame would have been this, easily within Fox's ginormous shine. As far as pulling that stitch goes, while it is strange he pulled three of these rare, powerful turnips during his winner set with PPMD, this video by Save is Untitled analyzed all 3,048 of Armada's turnip pulls during his last year of competition, and found Armada was actually slightly less lucky than the standard rates. Maybe he hung up the Arduino for that year. Regardless, every time you see someone fall victim to a grab or get grabbed yourself, realize that every interaction is a two-way street. Whether the grab comes from a long arm, your natural protrusions, a limb to grab onto, or any combination of these things. And it probably isn't as insane as it seems if you just slow it down. I'm not gonna say it's not bullshit though. Anyway, here are some truly messed up grabs. Big thank you to Alpine, Chenry, Droid, Dubs Rewatcher, Evan M, Fobby, George Bush, Game Player 1500, Guava with a question mark, Harpo Dog, John B, Catharg, Lenny M, Lonely Rolling Egg, LRC Napkin, Lumap, Matthew B, Ordice, P Jiggles, PM Casey, Safi Chaos, Shep If You Tried Meditation, That Rack, Trendrecht, Tribe, Wyvern, and Yashichi.